getting ready for Palooza this year. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. This design is much harder than it was last year. Let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm putting the LA County 412 on here, number 14, which happens to be mine. Yes, I know. But I am working on just, just getting the vinyl set up for the file. It's three colors. The white background, and then the yellow, and then I have the black. So you go through and you do all the stuff, and then you got to start cutting it out to see what pieces are going to pop out or, you know, some stupid thing. But, you know, there's all the cut lines. And, uh, okay, that's no problem. Well, the other issue is that is the transfer tape, and I didn't think that it was old, but it's old. So every time I tried to use it, it was ripping from the edge every time. So I couldn't really use it. So then I had to go and I had to get some, this is clear transfer tape. It's plastic, which I'm hoping that will, it will last longer. And then I'll be able to layer up my pieces because the paper stuff is a little opaque. You can't see through it until you like lay it on there. Well, I'm hoping this does a little bit better. So I'm weeding this all out and we're gonna see how that stuff does because that was really expensive. Okay, so after recutting this whole thing because the first time I put the, this has got the transfer tape on it. I, <laughs> I didn't do it right and it had a big old fold right through the middle of it. So I was like, ah, shit. So we're gonna go put that one on top of that one and then on top of that one. Yeah, all right, let's see if we can pull this off. <laughs> There's all the, the little green things. That's coming off of there pretty good. I don't know how tacky the stuff is. So there we go. We got that. Now what we're going to... It's all staticky, of course. Oh, that's going to be... Let me lay it down over here where it's not going to get a bunch of shit on it. Since this shit is all curly, see how it curls and it doesn't sit flat. I need it to sit flat. So we're going to take this down. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I've got to try to get this on here without absolutely freaking destroying it. Oh, so there's a little piece of vinyl I forgot to take off right here. I can't see without my my glasses. All right, now that my uh, stabilizer that I had the camera in before died on me, I have a feeling that this is going to be a one-and-done shot thing, and I don't know. I think what I might do is I might use some uh, a little bit of soapy water. Make that wet. All right, what I'm doing, I'm using a little bit of water on here so that this stuff's really tacky. So I'm hoping that if I accidentally get it down there too hard and out of position that I can bring it back up. Oh, I'm not long enough. Ah, right there, son of a bitch. I need to put a piece of stuff over there. Hopefully, I can get this all Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, you fucker. Get up there. Booger head. Come on. Get up there. Ah, come on, you booger. Double-edged sword. Yeah, the last part. This is going to suck because it's dangling off of that edge. But there's the second color. All right. Oh, shit. Now we got to try it with the white. Now we've got the white part. We're going to tape it down. Um, so the water trick kind of worked, but a little too well. <laughs> because it actually wouldn't come up with the transfer tape. I'm not going to use nearly as much water. Wipe it on, wipe it off. And that's why. That's why we use a little bit of water. Because it's stuck. Ah, oh, come on, you booger. Oh, and of course my tape doesn't hold. 
All right, we're gonna try this again. Is it just about screwed up? I'll try to get this thing lined up. This is gonna be an expensive sticker for anybody that wants one. All right, there is the sticker. All right, there we go. This is 400 millimeters between here and here. So this is a big ass sticker. Probably got to sell these damn things for like three, $400 a piece just to fucking make up for the abuse that I've given myself trying to make this damn thing. Ah, well, at least I got one done. Only take me like three weeks. After the debacle that was the three color shirt, I changed the design a little bit. And this is mostly for black shirts because on the gray shirt, it's gonna need to be three colors because that's just the way it is. But for black shirts, I can take away one color, but I had to rearrange all the stuff and I'm having to stack cuts and so that I can get it all on to a black shirt and make it look normal. All right, so we got our test prints of the helicopters. And you see this one's got black as the, uh, as the inner color here. Because um, this is actually going to be going on a gray shirt. It looks kind of gray here, but it doesn't show up very well uh, when you're looking at it. There's some reflection on the uh, HTV. But uh, I did another one, and this one actually doesn't have any black in it. It uses the T-shirt as the black color. And so I had to go through and adjust, like, you know, this part of the blade, which you don't see, even see up here, but uh, it shows up pretty good. And this is the size I'm going to be using. It's actually 350 millimeters from here to here. So that will be the size of the shirt. And this is a double extra fat, what I wear, because I got such broad shoulders. <laughs> and uh, But uh, when I get the gray shirts in, they will actually have black on them. So... There's the two. There we go. The main helicopter for the Scale Helipalooza 23 is done. All made up. And we're going to be getting the shirts in and getting to putting these all together. We're getting out and we're building something. It's a helicopter still. <laughs>